of the pool, Cleveland. Yeah, who says pools need to need to be in the ground or look nice? I went into the Target to get some medicated arch supports, and I walked out with this sweet-ass pool. You walked out with uh, this whole pool? Fit in my trunk. Water not included. <laughs> Nine rings. New record. Open my eyes, too. No goggles. No regrets. You getting in, Junior? No, I don't like to take my shirt off in front of people on account of my frisbee nips. Mine has grown together so they look like the MasterCard logo. <laughs> Priceless. Roberta, I don't mean to embarrass you or sound old-fashioned, but ye maidenhood showeth. My what? You're... you know what? It doesn't matter. You're doomed. Ow, bitch! My bad. From where I was standing, it looked like I was throwing to a man. <gasps> Rollo! What did I tell you about getting too close to this pool? Calm down, Donna. The boy's just trying to have some fun. Don't tell me to calm down. I told you I think this pool is dangerous. It's like now we've got two loaded guns in the house. Hey, is that Jimon Hansu? Where? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> now you gotta change your clothes and get your hair done and get a new cell phone. Before we get started, no, I'm not an Elvis impersonator. I just wear this costume to remind his family that he's dead. Okay, on to the vows. Janet, I have found in you the other half of myself that I never knew I was looking for. Our souls have become intertwined like the weird scene in Avatar where they did it under the light-up tree. We may not have much of a past, but we have a long, long future ahead of us. And I will always be here for you. <laughs> the whole abides. Died a drug addict on a toilet, some king. Your turn, ma'am. Look, Holt, I can't marry you. My sister's right. You're too nice a guy for a party girl like me. Oh, God. I, I think I need a Red Bull. Thank you, Freddy. I'm just realizing that I'm not ready to settle down right now. I'm sorry. But I am open to being non-monogamous long-distance boyfriend and girlfriend. What does that mean? I'll sleep with you whenever I'm in town. Do I still have to dress up like Austin Powers every time? I never asked you to do that. Didn't have to. Wedding's off, everybody, but we're still gonna shag, baby. Whoa! It was the first Thanksgiving where civilized people came together with a bunch of godless savages. Much like today, as my family breaks bread with you, the human garbage of Las Vegas. We welcome you, leathery showgirl, joyless blackjack dealer, creepy rape vibe magicians, and creepy rape vibe curret top. I'd also like to welcome my son's escort, my stepdaughter's Asian entourage. We feed you long time. I also want to acknowledge my teensy-weensy neighbor, Holt, and my loosey vavoosey sister-in-law, Janet. Here's to them casually getting down until she gets pregnant, and then they'll have some decisions. <laughs> Would you like to do the honors? There. Did you kill Turkey Luke Wilson? No, son, I didn't. He had a coke-fueled heart attack at a strip club early this morning. You're ready. <sighs> I love working out. I'ma bust you up. Probably. Yeah. Too slow.
know Cash is gay. Ow! Oh, ow. <laughs> you can't touch me, Tubby. I'm too fast. Check this out. Hey, baby. Mwah. Holy crap, I hit him! Hit him again, damn it! <laughs> Happy Boxing Day, sucker! Cleveland, stop! He's having a heart attack! No, he's having a fist attack! Cleveland, stop! He really is having a heart attack! <sighs> Cleveland, it appears that your father has suffered a mild heart attack, although I've never seen one accompanied by bruises to the face before. I was beating him up at the time. Oh, hey, no judgment. Anywho, he should be fine. I'd like to run a few more tests to be sure, but it's Christmas Eve and I'd rather be with my family, so I'm going home. Cleveland, I am so sorry. <laughs> this isn't how I wanted to kill my father. <laughs> Junior. I'm scared, man. Don't worry, Rollo. The doctor says Grandpa will be fine. What? I'm talking about Murray. I don't want him to go back to that home, but I don't want him to die either. You should do what your heart tells you to. Thank you for the worthless platitude. All right, then I hope your old friend dies. Would that make you happy? You happy now? You happy that your old friend gonna die? You happy now, Rollo? You happy? Now quit teasing me! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. You need anything? <sighs> I'm just so cold. Jewish person cold or regular person cold? Rollo, I found these in the dishwasher. Do you know where they came from? Oh, yeah, those are my funny novelty teeth. Oh, cool. Let me try. Look at me. I'm Joe Biden. My teeth taste like kosher salami. Ha 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 ha. And this must be your oversized novelty diaper. Now I'm Larry King. Caller, you're on. <laughs> I gotta come in here more often. It's like a joke shop. Rollo, what is going on in here? Rollo, no! Sweet biscuits and garment districts! I'm sorry, Mama, but he hated living in that home, and, and he had no place else to go. Are you out of your damn mind? Rollo, you have to take him back. But I'm sorry, but Cleveland's right. Murray's sick. He needs to go back. If it's any consolation, sir, I will give you $10 for your teeth. $8. You know what? I don't want them. Oh, it's a good thing you called when you did. You may have saved a man's life. Ten minutes, Murray. Then it's nap time. You betrayed me, Rollo. Have a nice life. I'm sorry I let you down. Just because Donna's got her charity, she thinks she can call me selfish. But no one leaves more pennies in the leave a penny, take a penny cup than I. No one. Do you take many? Irrelevant. I did some charity once. Boned an ugly chick. Last Cinco de Mayo. Terrible skin. Just laid there. Woke up next morning. Turned out she was a pinata shaped like SpongeBob. Drove her to my niece's sixth birthday party. Didn't need to buy a present. Two birds, one bone. Screw charity. Man, and you know, I pledged $50 to stop diabetes, and then I found out that there's still diabetes. And I'm, I'm like, what? Man, talk about a ripoff. Hell, pledge me a dollar for every beer I drink. Cleveland, I'm a genius. The four of us will hold an event right here where people pledge money for every beer we drink. And we'll give all the proceeds to Donna's charity. It's a... a beer walk. 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 Ah! I just blabbed my pants. 
Vroom, vroom. Beep, beep. Vroom. Thanks for coming to get drunk for charity, guys. Yeah, whatever Fox is paying us. Wow, Cleveland, I figured it was gonna be all black guys, but this is great. Missed ya. I came as soon as I heard. Then I drove straight down. Giggity, giggity. Comedy, comedy. But seriously, Joe, thank you for coming here to help with our charity function for the disabled. You do know I hear perfectly well, don't you, Cleveland? I know you're trying. Brave, brave Joe. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Cleveland's old friends? Gay. Damn right, gay. Yeah, you guys are so gay. Gay, 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 so gay. <laughs> <laughs> really uh, progressive thinking friends you got there, Cleveland. Yeah, I guess they like to throw around negatively inflected labels. You guys are the gays. No, Joe. Joe, please. Hi, Peter. Hi, Quagmire. And you must be Joe. Hi, I'm Donna. Cleveland's wife. Hello. Does your penis work? Uh, sort of. Uh. Well, what's the that supposed to mean? Like that. I don't Somebody know. Run COVID. Hey, Cleveland, can I do your wife? Look, Cleveland, as long as this beer walk stunt helps people, I'll put up with it. But I want you and everyone else to see what our organization is really about. This is Ethan. Little Ethan is nine years old, and he's never... Show us your jugs! <laughs> okay, buzzkill terminated. Let's get this tax-deductible party started. May I have a glass of water? I guess. How are those potato skins coming? Bear down. End of beer walk. These chowderheads consumed 334 beers. That means they raised an approximate total of, carry the one, $334. Yes, I'm better than you, Donna. Hey, Cleveland, we're, we're gonna just take off. What? Already? Yeah, we're, just, we're gonna beat the traffic. Uh, uh, come on. Come on. Come on, Mr. Keys. Here, key, 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 key. <sighs> bye, dicks. Okay, bye. <sighs> I am the champions, my friend. That's enough, Cleveland. Let's go home. Will you wash me? Oh, hold up. There's a unicycle. Hey, Uncle Sam, can I borrow your unicycle? It's not mine. Cleveland, no! You're not the boss of me, are you? Hey, y'all want to see me ride a unicycle drunk off my... Step right up and win a cheap, unlicensed knockoff toy! Brett Simpson, Spider Buddy, and Family Dudes Stevie! I'm gay! A petting zoo. I'd like to go poke a comatose goat. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. How much will it cost for the boy to pet the animals? Petting? Nah, these sheep are for mutton busting. Alrighty then. Come on, Rollo. Let's go so this nice man can rape his livestock in peace. <laughs> Don't worry. We leave the lamb loving to the Amish partner. I'm tough hogling. And that there's mutton busting. Can I give it a try? I don't care. Let her rip! That your boy? Yes, sir, that's my son. That was a championship ride, partner. Hey, and I was just looking to replace this, too. Your boy's a natural athlete. Got any more like him at home? No. God, no.
And the man, who you remember is covered in his grandmother's poop, replies, The aristocrats! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, I thought the act would have a much less sophisticated name. Mama, this man's funny. He's like what Bill Cosby must have been like before he started hating black people. Daddy's home, daddy's home, daddy's home! <laughs> Look what I won mutton busting. Mutton busting? I thought the same thing, but it's pretty much just kids peeing their pants while riding terrified sheep that smell like sheep and kid pee. I want to do that. Sorry, but you're too old. Oh. Let me finish. And fat. You're too old and fat to mutton bust. I tell you, our boy here was born to straddle a farm animal. Our boy? Well, I'm glad you two bonded, but that sounds dangerous. After giving this a moment's thought, I don't want Rollo doing it anymore. Ain't, Ain't nothing, nothing but mutton busting. I said no! Oh, this is more depressing than being a programming executive at AMC. Coming up next, an all-new Mad Men, followed by a special encore presentation of Mad Men. Then, a Mad Men marathon, featuring hours of before-scene footage. And later tonight, an all-new series, Mad Men. We are AMC. Ooh, Mad Men's on. Mutton busting. Sport of kings, Seabro. Check it. Virginia State champion, Pee Wee division. 98 through art 6. Well, even sadder than that, Donna won't let us go anymore. She thinks it's too dangerous. Dangerous? What, the, the sheep's like, uh, what, eight, eight inches off the ground? You're right. If I weren't so afraid of Donna, I'd march right up to her and tell her a little danger's good for kids. Who says you need to tell her? She's the one who wanted you two to bond, right? Here's how you bond. Have a secret you're both keeping from his mother. Like my dad did when he told me about his second family a couple counties over. I never felt closer to him. Plus, that's how I met Kendra. Oh. Well, dip my nads in cream and lock me in a room full of kittens. Look who's back. <laughs> I just knew by your weathered hands and super smelly breath that you'd be good for a funny saying or two. <laughs> oh, he remembers you. Oh, yeah, you're a good boy. I'm gonna name you Barnaby. And I'm gonna name you Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah, I like that. You ready to ride? I was born ready, Jeff. It's Jeffrey. <laughs>